I'm Mayor Barbara Bender, and I'm here to give you a wrap-up of our City Council meeting from Monday, January the 8th. We have one um, fun thing on the agenda. We did a proclamation for the winner of the, uh, I think it was the 8th Annual Festival of Trees, St. Oliver Plunkett Catholic Church won again. Um, they've been the champions for quite a few years, uh, aside from Britt Elementary, who took the, the crown a year or two ago. But St. Oliver's collected over 4,800 items out of a total of 9,800 items. So we're very excited about the amount of support and generosity from everyone who participated in the Festival of Trees. All of the donations went to either the Southeast Gwinnett Co-op or Toys for Tots. So again, we so appreciate your um, generosity and coming in and supporting this program run by Experience Snellville. We also had an update or a um, presentation by Battalion Chief Tommy Rutledge with Gwinnett County Fire Services. He gave us a short presentation on the importance of smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors in your house. And also he highlighted a program that I've taken um, advantage of. You can call Gwinnett County Fire and schedule for a home safety audit. Uh, firefighters will come out to the house, they'll go through your home, they will check all of your smoke alarms and replace any, any outdated or broken smoke alarms. They will check for your carbon monoxide detector and they will leave one in the house if you do not have it. They'll check on your fire extinguishers and they'll also give you a lot of safety tips. Um, and help you with an exit plan. So take advantage of that service. It is completely free. They'll come out and they'll walk through the house and talk with you about all of the uh, issues related to fire safety. Um, on the regular business agenda, we as appointed two associate judges, uh, Judge uh, Ron Gatewood and Judge Jennifer White to help out, um, just to have some more bench for um, for our judges when we have um, some judges that, that are not gonna be there. We also um, adopted again, since we have new council members, we re-adopted the, the City of Civility Pledge. This is a program that's run by Georgia Municipal Association. It came out new last year and they're encouraging all elected officials to take the pledge to treat each other with respect to be able to debate and disagree with professionalism without resorting to name calling and, um, you know, and just treat each other with respect and treat our citizens with respect. So all of our council members read through the pledge and we took that pledge on Monday night. And that is my continued pledge to all of you that we will always conduct our business professionally and we will always treat all of our citizens with respect. And then we've also approved a, the contract for our new city manager, Matthew Pepper. Matthew has been the assistant city manager under Butch Sanders for the past two and a half years. And upon Butch's retirement, uh, Matthew was promoted to city manager. So we're very excited uh, to see Matt take over the reins here at City Hall and uh, look forward to him really taking, uh, doing a great job here for us and for all of our employees. And then we had the election of the Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem. This is done each calendar year uh, and it's, elect it's an election done by the City Council to select one of the council members to act as a vice mayor or fill in mayor if something were to happen. And uh, Todd Warner is, was elected again as mayor pro tem for this year. So congratulations to Todd. And on one other note, um, just kudos to South Gwinnett High School. On Friday, January 12th, they have West Point, the uh, military academy at West Point are coming to the school to run a STEM uh, convention or conference all day Friday. They're working with over 100 students and uh, we are so excited to see that West Point has taken an interest in South Gwinnett and has chosen this location for their uh, conference. So kudos to South Gwinnett on that achievement and we look forward to meeting those uh, West Point representatives on Friday. 
with that, that is all of our update for this council meeting. If you have any questions or concerns, again, feel free to email or call any of your council members. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.